If your chip has advanced low power techniques such as multi voltage and multi supply and you are using Synopsys solution, then you probably know that there are two UPF styles supply net based and supply set based. If your UPF uses supply nets and you want to use supply sets, then this video series is for you. One big question you might have is. Why should I use supply sets? Fair enough. Let's list important features of supply sets. Provides a level of abstraction. Simplifies UPF file creation. We can define flexible isolation strategies. Enables enhanced hierarchical flows. Bias PG flow automation. And improves the reusability of low power IPs. Few details now. If you are using supply nets, you need to know their names early in the flow to write the UPF. Whereas supply sets allow you to define supplies at an abstract level using arbitrary names or power domain names. In supply set UPF, when we create a power domain, three handles representing the primary supply, isolation supply and retention supply are automatically created. Supply sets provides flexibility in defining isolation strategies. With this feature, when you want to define an isolation strategy between two specific power domains, you can use source and sync options instead of using a big list of elements. Setport attribute has support for many attributes which enhances the hierarchical flows with black box, ETM and block abstract models. Usage of supply set functions NWell and PWell automate the bias PG flows. In supply set flow, the UPF IPs can be refined as per the usage at SOC level. Here's what we cover in this video series. We will talk about supply set handles and their availability, association and refinement. Show an example of flat and a hierarchical UPF using supply sets. And finally, describe the hierarchical flow using black box ETM and block abstract models. You've been using supply nets and you want to use supply sets, so fasten your seat belts and let's take off, shall we?